play Using our imaginations We'll have fun with our creations It's time to sing It's time to move Join me in my living room It's Emily time Hello everyone And welcome back to my living room Today we're going to be flying up through the sky as we blast off into space. So stand up on your feet and let's get ready to have some fun. Hello everybody, welcome to today. Time for us to sing a song, dance along the way. First take a big breath, lift your hands up high. Then we're gonna shake them down and put them on our thighs. We're gonna wiggle to the window, wiggle to the wall Bounce around like a frog, land upon the floor Jump up on your feet, balance on your toes Star jump, spin around, strike a silly pose Hello everybody, welcome to today Time for us to sing a song, dance along the way First take a big breath, lift your hands up high Then we're gonna shake them down and put them on our thighs we're gonna search for a star in the midnight sky Shoot towards a galaxy way up high Land upon the moon, what do you see? Walk around the room like the zero gravity Hello everybody, welcome to today Time for us to sing a song, dance along the way First take a big breath, lift your hands up high Then we're gonna shake them down, put them on our thighs we're gonna spin like a planet We're gonna shine like a star We're gonna blast into space We're gonna fly so far We're gonna warm up our bodies We're gonna warm up our brains We're gonna warm up our face It's a warm up game Phew! Well done everyone! We're warmed up and ready for liftoff now you might already know that we live on the planet Earth but did you know that the Earth is a big ball that's surrounded by outer space and space is gigantic that means we need to get in my super speedy rocket to get there are you ready for a space adventure? 3, 2, 1, let's go astronauts! Imagination time! We're in my rocket and ready to launch. Oh, I think that's ground control. Our systems are good. T minus 10 seconds and counting to you. Copy. Copy that. Here we go, guys. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Whoa! It's really loud in here. The rocket's shaking so fast. Did you know that rockets can travel up to 17,500 miles an hour? That's amazing! We're just breaking through the Earth's atmosphere and soon we'll be in outer space! Whoa! Did you feel that? I think we're in space! Time to open up the hatch and have a look around! Whoa! This is amazing! I can see so many stars! Can you hear that? That's right. Space is actually completely silent. Whoa, the Earth looks so different from up here. And look, there's the sun. Did you know that the sun is actually a giant star? It's the center of our solar system and all the other planets circle around it. What was that? Did you see that? Oh, it's my friend, Alana the alien. Say hello to everyone, Alana. Oh, greetings, astro children. Alana is from so far away in space that even the best scientists on Earth haven't met her yet. Isn't that right, Alana? Yes, you Earthlings have no idea how big the universe is or who lives there. Maybe not, but we'd love to find out. I want to be an astronaut. I want to see the Milky Way. Climb on board and help it sun Blasting off today Do you want to fly a rocket? Come with me and we'll shoot up to the stars Do you want to see an alien? Discover if there's really life on Mars Do you want to go to Saturn or Venus or Neptune or even to Jupiter today? Do you want to fly a rocket? Do you want to fly a rocket to a planet? Down 
on Earth From way up high we're shooting past the asteroid belt Zooming through the galaxy at speeds you've never felt Do you wanna fly a rocket? Come with me and we'll shoot up to the stars Do you wanna see an alien? Discover if there's really life on Mars Do you wanna go to Saturn or Venus or Neptune or even to Jupiter today? Now it's time for some singing with my friend, Alana the Alien. Music time! This song is all about the planets in our solar system. Take it away, Alana! So Mercury is number one, the closest planet to the sun. Then Venus is the next along, the hottest planet in this song. Then Earth, filled with humankind, the only water we can find. Then Mars, which is red and bright, you can see it in the sky at night. Sing, sing about the planets, playing my guitar and learning all about the planets. Sing, sing about the planets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight amazing planets. Jupiter's that big gas ball, the biggest planet of them all. Saturn has those glowing rings filled with moons and rocky things. Uranus is an icy one, a wonky angle from the sun. And Neptune is so cold and blue, three billion miles away from you. Sing, sing about the planets, playing my guitar and learning all about the planets. Sing, sing about the planets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight amazing planets. Time. of the planets. I've painted Mars, Saturn and Neptune. What planets will you paint? Before I have to go, I'd love to tell you one of my favourite stories about space. It's the story of Sarah, the Astro Kid. Story time! In the distant future, Sarah the Astro Kid lived in outer space with her mum and her dad. It was a lovely place. Aside from school trips to Earth, she lived in their spaceship, Sarah, Mum and Dad, and their space puppy, Pip. Sarah got to do so many cool things. She could fly all around Saturn's rings. She explored every single constellation and visited Uncle Tony on the International Space Station. She could eat space pizza, ride her space bike, do pretty much anything she'd like. But there was always one thing her mum would say. If you see an alien, you must stay away. We don't know where they come from or what they do. They look so different from me and you. They might be dangerous, her mum would say. If you see an alien, you must stay away. One day, 
Sarah was just bouncing on the moon, thinking she might have some lunch quite soon, when suddenly she saw a blinding light and a flash of green that was awfully bright. Sarah watched in fear as from out of the smoke a creature appeared, and then it spoke. Nice to meet you, it said. I'm Alana. You're an alien, stuttered Sarah. That's right, said Alana. I wanted to say hello. I've seen you before. But I'm an alien and you're a human, so I wasn't sure. Then I saw you bouncing on the moon too, and that's one of my favourite things to do. Really, said Sarah. What else do you like? Well, eating space pizza and riding my space bike. Me too, cried Sarah. I love all those things. My favourite is flying round Saturn's rings. Wow, said Sarah. You're really fun. You're not what I thought. I must tell my mum. She thinks aliens are scary, but that's not true. Why would we think that when we'd never met you? Hang on. Why don't you come to our spaceship for tea? Alana said. Yes, I'm so hungry. So Sarah showed Alana home and raced in first. Mum, she said. I met a friend today. I told her she could have dinner with us. I hope that's okay. Of course, said Mum, without looking up. Nice to meet you, said Alana. I'm from the planet Bloop. Sarah's mum gasped and froze in fear. Patrick, she shouted, can you come down here? As he came down the stairs, Sarah saw him freeze. Mum, Dad, Sarah cried, just listen, please. We spent all day together. Alana's so great. I think she's definitely my new best mate. Just get to know her and then you'll see. Aliens aren't different from you and me. So over dinner, Sarah's mum and dad came to see that aliens weren't bad or scary or strange or different in any way. They loved Alana. They even wanted her to stay. It was lovely to meet you, said mum cheerfully. You too, said Alana. And thank you for tea. Next time, you must come to Gulp and meet my mop and my bob. That would be wonderful, said Mum. We'd like that a lot. Thanks for coming on my space adventure. Join me next time where we'll be learning all about the weather. But until then... Goodbye everybody, goodbye to my friends. It's only bye for now cause it's really not the end. You can join me next time in my living room Goodbye